please take a moment to silence any cell phones. Holy Redeemer High School is proud to recognize graduates Amelia K. Banks, Olivia Grace Murray, and William Leon Wazikowski, who have announced their commitment to join the United States military. At this time, I would invite all of our guests to join us in standing as Sarah Patricia Stetler pays honor to America in the singing of the national anthem. Gentlemen, please remove your caps, remain standing for the invocation offered by Father Seth Wozniak, 2020-2021, Chaplain of Holy Redeemer High School. Let us pray. Good and loving God, we thank you for the completion of another academic year and for giving us the opportunity to play a part in the lives of our students, especially these new graduates. Please bless and guide our graduates as they reach this end, as they chart the new beginnings May what they have learned here at Holy Redeemer allow them to be truly men and women for others. Help them to use all that they have learned here to make the world a better place, to serve others in true solidarity and love. We know that this year has been unlike any other, but through faith and hope, they have endured. As they prepare to go forth, some will experience pain and hardship, and we know that some already have, and we ask you to grant them all solace and strength. Finally, Father, we thank you for giving us the opportunity to build this community with these young men and women while they were here. Though they are leaving our school, we know that they will always be with us as part of the Holy Redeemer family. And we ask that the bonds that they have created here remain strong despite any distance. For we make all of this prayer through Christ our Redeemer. Amen.
You may be seated. Gentlemen, replace your caps. Good evening, Bishop Ambera, Monsignor Muldowney, Mr. Morrison, Mrs. Dunahue, pastors, fellow administrators, elementary school principals, faculty, parents, guardians, honored guests, and graduates. Welcome to the 14th commencement of Holy Redeemer High School. It is my privilege today to introduce to you salutatorian for the year of 2021, Lauren Francis Patrick. Welcome, Your Excellency, Bishop Bambera, Mr. Morrison, Mrs. Donahue, pastors, Mrs. Daugherty, faculty, friends, family, and fellow classmates, to the Holy Redeemer class of 2021 commencement. It has certainly been a unique year, given the pandemic and all of the challenges we have faced because of it. Yet here we are, about to graduate from high school and take another step into our futures. It almost seems as though little time has passed between our freshman orientation of four years ago and today. I still remember meeting my first new friend here, the intimidation a new school presented, and most memorably, the mix-up that changed my name on all the class rosters that first week. No doubt we all feel a similar nostalgia looking back on our early days at Holy Redeemer, when the next four years seemed to stretch out ahead of us and our futures were but a vague thought in the back of our minds. For many of us, our experiences at Holy Redeemer have been life-changing and have perhaps played a part in making us who we are today. Despite our diverse backgrounds and varying future paths, we are united by one common thread that has woven our lives together for a moment in time. As the class of 2021, we share the benefit of having spent four years at an institution where God is the foundation, the heart of our education, assuredly guiding all our experiences and endeavors. This school has been a place for us to grow in our relationship with Christ and through him with others. It has been a place to nurture our talents and achieve many things, academically, artistically, athletically, and spiritually. Holy Redeemer's exceptional teachers have done more for us than we realize because of their instruction, patience, wisdom, dedication, and encouragement we are celebrating together this day. I personally appreciate every interaction with my teachers, both inside and outside of school, from career advice from Mrs. Kaiser to Civil War discussions with Mr. Flannery. I am grateful for those who, I'm, who I have met here and for the memories we have made. They will forever be fondly remembered. And I know that you, my classmates, also feel that same appreciation of your time spent at Holy Redeemer. Tonight, we graduate from this school and set out on, um, set out on paths that will lead to our futures. Perhaps some of us will pursue prestigious careers in medicine, science, and business. Maybe others like me are still seeking their pursuit in life. Many of us are also looking forward to the more, more personal aspects of what the future holds, such as starting a family. Regardless, together we have made it through these four years, pushed through all the ups and downs, endured times when we felt like giving up, experienced disappointment over missed opportunities. Our senior year was not what any of us had ever imagined, yet through God's grace, we braved our challenges and have become stronger individuals in the process. Now, filled with hope and excitement for what the future holds, we step forth into the beginning of the rest of our lives. Best of luck, class of 2021, and congratulations. As a courtesy to all of our graduates present today, I ask 
that you please hold your applause and any interruptions during the awarding of our individual diplomas. Your respect will afford each graduate the honor of receiving his or her diploma with full recognition as a member of the graduating class. One graduate is unable to be present today. He will be recognized after all graduates in attendance receive their diploma. Once all diplomas are conferred and these students are recognized, an announcement will be made formally presenting the 2021 graduating class to you. At that time, your applause and joyful celebration will be most encouraged. We thank you in advance for your cooperation in upholding the dignity of our commencement program. Graduation from high school is signified by the reception of a high school diploma. The diploma is granted after successful completion of the requirements established by the Department of Education of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, the Diocese of Scranton, Holy Redeemer High School, and the Individualized Instruction Program of the Diocese of Scranton. The following students are candidates for graduation. Mrs. Maureen Janoski, Vice Principal for Academics, and Mr. Colin Martinson, Dean of Students, will now present the Class of 2021. The diplomas will be conferred by the Most Reverend Joseph C. Bambera, Bishop of Scranton. Patrick David Michael Del Balso. Lauren Francis Patrick. Dominic Michael Alberti. Matthew Albrecht. Teresa Aaron Amaris. Amelia Rose Anderson. Logan M. at Cabbage. Aubrey Lynn Ayer. Amelia Banks. Laura Bednar. Krista Marie Biago. Addison Teresa Bilski. Isabel Page Burmer.
Rachel Grace Black. Molly Marie Blaskowitz. Lucia Ostentina Bonk. Michael James Brown. John Michael Bush. Anna Elizabeth Capassi. Matthew Australia Cardi. Kyle Bernard Castle. Kimberly Ann Clocker. Kaylee Marie Considine. McKaylee Brianna Crake. Madison Jane Dewees. Michael G. Dotzel Jr. Colin Patrick Dougherty will be presented his diploma by his mother, Mrs. Doreen Dougherty. Emily Dareen Daugherty. Jacob Drevage. Daniel David Drost. David jo Joseph Durgo. Caitlin Rebecca Engel. Jacob Lawrence English. Gianna Lynn Evans. Amanda Claire Ferrer. Tanner Fenstemacher. Ava Rose Fino. Alexandra Fomonti. Anthony Francis Gimnazzo. Kenley Jane Golanowski. Amelia Francis Gredkowski. Alexander J. Haikowski.
Sean Carson Hand. Rose Catherine Hayward. Emsley Hernandez. Christopher Hine. Sierra Nicole Hines. Tyler Joseph Hadel. John Joseph Jamalkowski III. Olivia C. Kaluzny. Connor James Kane. Ryan Patrick Kane. Zachary James Kehoe. Hannah Elizabeth Kern. Peter, Peter Michael Kadari. Zev Isaac Kornfeld. Ethan Christopher Cosden. Brett Anthony Kugler. Kelsey Charlie Curran. Christina Marie Kurlansky. Abigail Rose Cush. James Thomas Levan. Tyler Lee. Olivia Catherine Lewis. Ava Rose Lasowski. Kathleen Margaret Magda. Emily N. Mahler. Amy Mikowski who will be presented by Monsignor Thomas Smoldowney. Anthony L. Mendoza. Bella Rose Martin. Matthew Martin. Owen Gerard Martin. Joshua William Mayerski. B. 
Bailey Elizabeth McDermott. Lance Robert McGrain. Kip William Miller. Gabrielle Marie Morgan. Chloe Faith Morris. Olivia Grace Murray. Maxwell William Nahilla. Catal Ormondo. Olivia Elizabeth Owens. Antonio H. Panzak. Olivia Noel Pavlico. Vanessa Celine Pinto. Jacob William Pizzolato. Logan James Perzuchek. Juliana Rose Pallas. Erica Elizabeth Ray. Brady Dominic Rude. Maxwell Massette Rosen. Vaughn A. Rudloff. Sydney Ann Rush. Alexander Joseph Rymar. Raymond Anthony Sabatini. Abigail Maria Sankis. Mariel Rose Schram. Daniel Anthony Schuler. Matthew Francis Schuler, Abigail Elizabeth Schultz, Lindsay Isabella Skoronsky, Adam Gregory Smith. Nicholas M. Smith. Maya Kaylin Soler.
Carissa F. Spade. Matthew James Speechley. Sarah Patricia Stetler. Jeffrey Thomas Stilp. Jordan Elizabeth Stockla. Gianna Taylor Stoddard. Anthony Joseph Strish. Michael David Strunk. Joseph Ethan Swartwood. Aliza Syed. Hideki Joseph Talkagi Scanlon. Dominic Jeffrey Adam Tavella. Lola Rose Tarana. Michael James Koch. Alexa Mercedes Ulrich. Abigail Patricia Varzeli. Andrew Jameson Wallace. William Leon Wazikowski. Alyssa C. Whitfield. Amelia Rose Williams. Matthew Stephen Williams. Colin James Wills. Grace Elizabeth Wolsifer. Austin Michael Zabreski. Noah Stephen Zim and we have one final graduate that could not be with us tonight and that is Hassan S.K.A. Muhammad.
Your Excellency, Bishop Bambera, may I present to you the Holy Redeemer High School graduates of the class of 2021. indeed proud of our graduates. You may be seated. Yes, we are proud of our graduates. It is my honor to announce that 92% of our graduates will matriculate to universities and colleges, while 8% of our students will enter military service, pursue post-secondary training, or seek employment. The class of 2021 garnered scholarships totaling more than $35 million. As a parent myself, I will say that is most indeed an impressive return on our investment. The names of the students and their scholarships they have been awarded may be found in your commemorative program booklet. At this time, let us once again offer recognition for the class of 2021 for their outstanding efforts and their accomplishments. At this time, it is my privilege to introduce to you the 2021 valedictorian, Patrick David Michael Del Balso. Good evening, Your Excellency Bishop Bambero, Monsignor Muldowney, Mr. Morrison, Mrs. Donahue, pastors, Mrs. Doherty, administrators, elementary school principals, faculty, family, friends, those who are spiritually with us tonight and graduates of the class of 2021. I'm honored and humbled to speak tonight on behalf of the graduating class. As we walked through the doors of Holy Redeemer for the first time as freshmen, no one would have predicted that we would be graduating in the midst of a worldwide pandemic. Never before has Holy Redeemer's motto, Omnia Per Christum, which means all things through Christ, resonated true. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13 say, states, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I have the strength for everything through him who empowers me. It is through the strength that Holy Redeemer was able to open its doors this past fall to provide a safe environment for us to share our God-given talents both in and out of the classroom. It is true that it may not have been the senior year we all expected or even wanted, 
but only God has control over what is uncontrollable. Nevertheless, it is through Christ's strength which allows us to stand here today stronger, wiser, braver, and more determined to face whatever challenges lie ahead as we embark on our next journey. As we commence tonight, we owe deep gratitude to Mr. Morrison, Mrs. Donahue, and Mrs. Doherty for their difficult decisions made this school year to keep the students, faculty, and staff protected during this unprecedented time. Furthermore, the extra time and dedication the teachers put into seamlessly instructing students in academic excellence and spiritual formation, both in class and virtually, has not gone unnoticed. They have selflessly dedicated their time, patience, and wisdom to help each of us reach our full potential. Our teachers are to be commended for going way beyond their fields of expertise. They have educated our class on important life skills, such as fantasy football statistics with Mr. Hine, or the art of boxing out displayed by Coach John during the faculty basketball games. They have even taught us the technique of competitive fundraising, although Sister Susan always finds a way to win. And they have shown the importance of classroom entertainment with Mr. Owinski's mind-blowing magical acts. We recognize how truly blessed we are for our Holy Redeemer family, and we're grateful for the sacrifices our own families have made to provide us the foundation of a Catholic school education, where we have been afforded the opportunity to learn, laugh, and pray over these past four years. And to you, my friends, the class of 2021, congratulations. The days of high school felt so long, yet these four years seem so short. During this time, each of us has forged our own unique path as royals through sports, clubs, the arts, and academia. However, we are forever bonded by the colors of our alma mater, red, white, and gold, symbolizing faith, hope, and love. We need to draw on this faith to remain true to the teachings of Jesus Christ. Whether we attend college, enter the military, or join the workforce, faith gives us the courage to stand up for what is right, the inner strength to maintain our convictions, and the fortitude to remain honest and humble. It is true that we are going out into an uncertain world in very divisive times. However, our class recognizes that the key to harmony is treating each other with kindness, compassion, and respect. There is hope for peace, hope for a better future, and hope for unity in this world. As graduates of Holy Redeemer, we are forever bonded by our love for God, love of our school, and the love we cultivated during these past four years. What sets our school apart from others is that we have received an education far more than just academic. We have developed a strong sense of morality, learning that the true meaning of community is the need for serving others. It is through this love for others that we put our faith into action to become the change makers and transformative leaders that will spread hope as we go out into the world. An unknown author once said, behind you, all your memories, before you, all your dreams, around you, all who love you, and within you, all you need. We take with us tonight memories, cherished memories of four years of lessons learned, challenges met, and faith deepened. We look ahead to future dreams, dreams of following our passions and turning them into reality with hard work and the courage to pursue them. Tonight, we are surrounded by love, the love of our families, friends, and the gifts we received attending Holy Redeemer High School. And finally, we look within ourselves. Each of our 130 graduates are strong, confident, compassionate, and determined individuals. 
We have been blessed with our God-given talents to boldly go out into the world to make positive changes. The world is a beautiful place with endless opportunities, just waiting for us to shine. Class of 2021, be kind, be yourselves, and be amazing. Thank you, and God bless you. It is my honor to present to you at this time Diocesan Secretary of Catholic Education and Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Jason Morrison, to offer a few remarks. Good evening. Wow, this is an incredible moment and I'm inspired by the monumental task of getting to this day. And it took all of you seated here in this room. And we're grateful to each of you for those efforts, to the faculty who never wavered in their commitment to serve the students entrusted to our care. Your actions are nothing short of extraordinary, and you set the model for greatness in teaching. To Mrs. Doherty and the administration who navigated the path to success, you model servant leadership. To the staff who worked behind the scenes to ensure the school ran efficiently and kept us safe and clean. To the grandparents, parents, families, and friends that have sacrificed and supported us through these difficult times. And finally, and most importantly to all of you, our graduates, thank you for your flexibility and your willingness to learn in a new environment, but to do so with the same focus and drive. Thank you. While almost everything in the past year has been defined within the context of the COVID-19 pandemic, I believe that is too limiting for all of you, our graduates and what you have come to learn and know. Do not allow what has been lost throughout this past year to characterize your legacy as the class of 2021. You are so much more. You epitomize perseverance, grit, determination, compassion, love, and a community of faith. You are called to lead a world that needs healing. And it is pre precisely because of, not in spite of, your lived experiences through this pandemic that you are prepared to heed this calling. So as we prepare to send you forth, I share with you some words that have become very important to me, words of St. Augustine, and they are, Pray as though everything depends on God. And work as though everything depends on you. As a graduate of a Catholic high school, you are better prepared to enliven the intent of these words. You have been blessed with the opportunity to deepen your relationship with God and know how meaningful and important prayer is in your life. You have also learned that prayer alone is not the answer. To achieve excellence, you must take personal responsibility and put in the real effort to accomplish your goals. So I leave you with this. Work hard, pray hard, and learn from your lived experiences. That is what must define your life and your legacy. Congratulations to you all, and God bless. Thank you, Mr. Morrison. 
We thank Bishop Ambera as our spiritual leader for his unshakable commitment to the students, families, and Catholic education in the Diocese of Scranton. We are honored and grateful that Bishop Ambera presides this evening at our commencement exercises. At this time, I invite Bishop Ambera to make some closing remarks. Is that like the seventh inning stretch or something? You, okay, you, you can stretch appropriately and you can be seated. I know you probably got instructions to stand when I come to the podium and don't come near my hand when I attempt to shake it. But thank you for rolling with me a little bit this evening. I am truly extremely proud, as is everybody who surrounds you in this great arena, to celebrate the class of 2021 of Holy Redeemer High School. You have every reason to be excited and to be filled with joy this night as we celebrate you and all that you have accomplished during this last year in particular. This past year hasn't been the easiest, has it? It's challenged your resolve at times. I'm sure it has wounded your spirits and it may have even broken your hearts. Yet we celebrate today your incredible achievements, your ability to overcome adversity and disappointments, your resolve to recreate your corner of the world, and your eagerness to continue to laugh and to discover light and life, even in the midst of some of the darkest times that you and I have known. Yes, you may have missed out on special events that should have become significant markers in your own personal history. But I would suggest something to you graduates. You, more than most of us, have received something of infinite value at this significant moment in your lives. Something that many of us spend a lifetime trying to acquire. In the face of a once-in-a-century global pandemic, you've learned early on in your lives that life is both precious and precarious. This past year has taught you that plans, hopes, and dreams can change in an instant. For as invincible as you see yourselves to be, none of you, none of us, can ultimately control our future. Yet this moment in your lives and in ours as well has also taught us that in the face of a precarious world, there are lasting things worth treasuring that no pandemic can ever take away from us. Those lasting things are the blessings of family life and relationships the knowledge that you've acquired during your educational experience at Holy Redeemer, integrity of spirit, love generously given and received, and faith, something that no one or no thing can take from you. Faith in the presence of God that has the power to carry us through whatever life unfolds in our world. More than ever, graduates, as we move out of this crisis, we need you and your many gifts to make this moment and our future better. We need your hope, we need your determination, your generous spirits, and your faith. Today we proudly send you forth into a world that's changing before our eyes. And so as you go, I would ask one thing, that you go with gratitude in your hearts. Gratitude for the dedicated service of the faculty and staff of this great high school that has shone forth so brightly 
during this most challenging year. Grateful for the generous contributions of pastors and parishioners of parishes that continue to make Catholic education possible. Grateful for the support and love of your family and friends and so many others who have brought you to this moment in your lives. And as you go forth, remember to always embrace these simple yet treasured lessons for living that you have received during these past few years. Be men and women for others. Attend to your life's work with integrity, grounded in faith, and a respect for the lives that are given to you. Forgive often and ask forgiveness when needed. Accept others without judgment and serve. Serve generously with no one excluded as Jesus gives us example. These lessons rooted in the timeless values of the gospel will enable you to face any pandemic and whatever life unfolds with hope. And one more thing, graduates, know that as you go forth, you do not journey alone. Wherever you go and however life unfolds, know that we walk with you, we love you, and commend you always to the loving protection and grace of God. God bless you and congratulations. Thank you, Bishop Ambera. At this time, I would like to invite our senior royal singers to join us on stage for the singing of the Holy Redeemer High School alma mater. I invite you all to please stand. Remain standing. At this time, I would ask our gentlemen to remove your caps as Father Seth Wozniak and Mr. Jack Rabano lead us in a final blessing of our graduates and our families. The first part of this final blessing is for the parents to the students. So I invite all parents here tonight to extend your hands toward your students. Let this prayer that I am about to read be a prayer in your heart for them as you ask their blessings and love. May you be powerfully loving and lovingly powerful. May love ever be your guide with family, 
with friends, and with colleagues. May you listen carefully to your own hearts and the hearts of others. May you have the strength to overcome fear and pride and follow instead what has heart and meaning for you. May you be active, committed, and a positive force in the community. May you show respect to people of all ages, races, and help make a better world for the poor, the sick, the elderly, and the young. May you constantly bring your gifts and talents forward every day without hesitation, reservation, or expectation of reward. And may you know every day how grateful I am to God for the gift of you. And may you always know in your heart the depth of my love for you. And now graduates, the second part of our prayer, I ask you to raise your hand in a form of prayer to your parents. Try to find them. May you know how grateful I am to you for all you have done for me, with the life you have given me, the lessons you have taught me, for the love you have shown me, and for the comfort you have provided me. I will never forget how much of you I carry forward with me in this new chapter of my life. I go into it with a mix of excitement and fear, for I do not know what the future will bring, but I go forward confidently because of you. May you always trust in all the work you have done in me, because your ideals are my ideals, and your hopes are my hopes. Always remember that I am still growing into them, as you still are. And as we grow together, we will meet again together in a new and higher way, as friends and as equals. But for all of that, I will always be yours. Know that you will always have that place in my heart. May God always bless you and give you the best of gifts. Amen. I invite our guests to be seated. Gentlemen, you may replace your caps. As I invite our student body president, Mrs. Miss Anna Elizabeth Capassi, to come forward to lead the class in the turning of the tassel. traditional cap toss. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present to you the Holy Redeemer High School Class of 2021.